This is the story of how a buyer looking for a dream home found the potential in an outdated property that had the perfect location. Hi, I'm Kelly LeClaire, realtor here in San Clemente, California. I'm seeing two things happening in today's world of buyers watching so many home renovation TV shows. One, buyers think it's really easy to fix up a house for a little money or buyers are feeling overwhelmed by all of the projects they have to do, so they can't really focus on the important elements to find potential in a property. I'm going to show you how my clients found this mid-century style, semi-remodeled property and turned it into an amazing beach cottage. And to help, we get insight from their contractor, Steve Profit. So that job, when I first saw it, especially when you go in and see those low soffits that were, um, you know, can't laboring out three or four feet. It, it was very 70s or late 60s. Uh, it felt small, it, it was short. Owner wanted to open up the house and they go to more of a beach cottage look. First step, the owners wanted to demolish this dated fireplace. And once we started to demo that big rock fireplace, it was more structural than not. That was one of those things that nobody really knew until you take off some of the stone. So the decision was to go over the top of that. My wife was the interior designer on the project, came up with that brick detail, which the uh, client loved. And it really came out spectacular. Now let's look at the kitchen. This is how it looked when they bought the house. Then a totally different layout and modern finishes. To move plumbing fixtures can be expensive when contractors rip out a slab foundation, but this property was originally built in 1959, so there's a raised foundation which made it easier. I'm sure when that house was built, it was the you know, top dog in the neighborhood and it was so special, but you know, things have changed a lot. Now everybody wants high ceilings. Everybody wants you know, bigger window sections and, and, and different exterior looks. Projects like this one take at least four months to complete, and the homeowners advise other buyers to factor in an extra 10% on your original budget for those surprises. Now check out these bathrooms in this house when the owners first bought it. Then, moving walls, taking advice from the architect, we get this. In this Riviera Beach house, the most impressive vision that these owners had was for the exterior and to completely change the architectural style. The exterior elevations worked at the end of the day with the flat roof. There was some really interesting eave details with big, big curves, almost a Flintstone look that went away. Became crisp and clean at the end of the day with uh, some of the siding that they put on and the shiplap um, eave details. In any beach community, you have to maximize the view and also the outdoor space. But in this neighborhood, there are height restrictions. So here's what they did. Ultimately, by upgrading the stairs, raising and expanding the deck, they created a space that's usable and adds to the new character of the home. Another takeaway from this successful project, do not live in the house during construction. At the end of the day, you might get your project faster with less headache and less strain about it. Getting your furniture out of the way. If you're going extensive with your remodel, getting out of there is, is, I think, very important. So what were the main keys to this amazing transformation? The owners say it was the extra time to plan, the patience to look beyond a home that had good bones but wasn't necessarily their style, and expecting overages on the construction. That's all really good advice to take to heart if you're thinking about finding that diamond in the rough and making it your own. Thanks so much for watching this episode of the LeClaire Real Estate Reels. I'm Kelly LeClaire. Oh.